Hello, my name is Anna, I'm a digital fantasy artist, and today I'm going to make a highly requested video that is about how to paint and render skin. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Here I'm just showing my sketch, it's really important to have a good sketch, you can see that I really detailed everything that I could, but we're only going to focus on the skin right now. So I want you to notice how I sketched the hands, her collarbone, her kind of facial features, her chest, I want you to focus on that. If you aren't sure how to sketch portraits, I have a whole video about it, I'm going to leave the link here. But basically, after you sketch, I want you to take your time choosing the flat colors of your painting. And for the skin, I chose kind of a middle tone, not really white, more like dark yellow. And then I want you to get your lightning references. I chose all of this lightning. It's really important to have the specific light you, you want, so you can go to this next step. Remember to take as long as you need finding the right reference for your light and then I want you to go to a new layer after you've painted the main color and choose either a round normal brush or an airbrush and you're going to paint in the shadows. Some people already like to make the reverse so they make a multiply layer of the whole part of her skin and then they carve out the light so if you want and you think that's easier for you feel free to do so here i'm changing a bit the like shadow color because i wasn't sure this is what i wanted but i'm basically thinking about where the light is coming from and i'm not thinking about other sources of light i'm thinking about my main source of light so i don't want you to worry about bounce light or even other lights i have two main light sources here i have the light that's coming from probably a door at her face making a diagonal angle and i have the light from the candle so you need to pay attention to your main focus of light and this will make or break your skin painting rendering time so please make sure that you take this step as long as you need and really think about it like think about an interesting but realistic light source and shadows now that i'm more satisfied with what i have i'm going to finally zoom in so remember that i actually have didn't zoom in this whole part so please try not to zoom in because it's going to distract you and right now I am finally zooming in and I'm just putting darker shades around her face because then I'm going to start going from the middle tone that I have to the darkest tone and I feel like that's easier because you have like lots of lights around your face and it's important for you to go as dark as you need at specific places for example the corners of the eyes are really dark and since she's frowning her eyelid is going to be really dark the her nose circles are going to be really dark anything that touches something else really close it's going to make a really dark line so try to think about that while rendering and keep your like references close to you because you might get lost with the light source that you chose so having as many references as you can even taking pictures of yourself is ideal because you shouldn't expect yourself to know this like naturally you should always have references and right now i felt like her nose was too small and sometimes we make a really good sketch but then we realize that something is wrong in the middle of the rendering process so feel free to get the liquify tool and try to move it around but don't worry so much i think that it's better to finish something than make it perfect so just keep going and here you can see i'm finally adding a secondary light I didn't want it only to have one light source and make the rest of her face super dark, so I added a cooler second light 
it's i think it's a shade of gray so it's really important and interesting when paintings have a second light so feel free to search for more references choose an interesting color sometimes people like to make the like main light source really cold and then the bounce light be really warm so feel free to play with that because i usually only use warm light sources as main sources but you don't always need to use the colors that i use feel free to play with things however you like and whatever fits best your painting and this step really takes time i'm just thinking about her facial features for example now i'm painting her ears and i'm using a i think it's a really soft brush that kind of feels like the round brush but it's a bit softer so you feel free to kind of try to use that if you want to check my brushes out i have a free brush set it's always in the comments pinned below so go check that out so you can use exactly the brush that i'm using and i'm just basically shading her whole hand right now thinking about the secondary light and thinking about the forms and you can see that i'm not trying to go from the middle tone to light i'm using really small highlights actually so i'm actually thinking about going from the middle tone to the darkest values and whenever i felt like i didn't i didn't go like dark enough for example here i'm adding another multiply layer and kind of making the shadows pop more because i thought the painting was looking too flat so feel free to add maybe color dodge layers if you think you want your painting to pop out more or add multiply layers if you feel like your painting is not as dark as you want it to be. Here I'm starting my second rendering process for the skin and right now I'm actually going in and adding even more detail and again, I'm still not thinking about the textures, but I'm thinking about blending. When you're painting skin, it's really important for you to realize that's like you can even look at your own skin right now. You can see that some parts of your skin, they look like they were actually airbrushed. So it's important for you to understand that there are some parts of the skin who can look like they are airbrushed that they can look like they have no texture and it's literally just a really soft round skin kind of object and you don't need to worry so much about the textures but there are other parts of our skin especially in the face that they had have like lines and they look like they are more textured because the skin is soft but it, it it has some textures so you need to be able to realize which parts of your painting you want to make it look like it was airbrushed and which parts of your painting you want to make it look like there is more texture this depends a lot when the character is like older or younger like baby characters or child they're going to have a lot less textures in their skin and older people are going to have much more textures and lines so it helps for you to think about how old you want to make your character look here i'm really want the shadows to look like they have like less texture so i use lots of airbrush around the the shadows but in the points of where the light hits her face i made sure to like render more and make it look like it's actually a 3d object and not as flat as it might look like when rendering skin as well it's important to remember that we do have eyebrows and eyelashes that you shouldn't render them with the same brush that you use to render skin because they are kind of like a hair so it's important for you to make it look like it's hair or feel like it's hair and not just feel like it's just another part of the skin which looks weird so a good way to do that is to add little specks of hair or use a different brush with more texture to look like there is more hair something else that you can notice is that the eyes even though they have some highlights they are actually more they feel like they are more airbrushed than skin so feel free to render your eyes differently and make it look like they are kind of more glassy than the skin it's important for you to be able to separate the elements of your painting or else everything is going to look much like the same 
object in the same texture. And again, with the lips, they are really tricky, but because they do look like skin. And if you paint too much inside the lips, they're going to look really crusty. Like if you paint lots of lines in the lips, it's going to look like she haven't worn like lipstick in five years. So pay attention to that and try to make this the lips look soft, but with a different texture than the skin. It's complicated, but you get there with nails. It looks more like jewelry than like skin, so try to make your nails look more metallic than the skin that you're painting. And don't forget to add the skin lines. If you look at your hands, you have so many like little kind of veins and like tendons. I forgot the name of like the little thing that joins our fingers, but it's important for you to kind of show how the hands are connected and the little lines that we have on our fingers it makes everything look so much realistic so pay attention to that it kind of looks like the face but i feel like hands have so many more lines and more like little elevations as if they are sand dunes so pay attention to that again if you have any like really hard difficulties around anything that i'm talking about it's important for you to go back to studying so go check my video about studying i'm going to leave it right here and if you feel like you haven't observed the things that i'm talking about you should go back to studying specifically hands because hands are so hard so don't feel bad if you aren't really understanding anything but go back to studying if you have any major difficulties and that's basically it i did pass again a bit of the color dodge to change a bit of the skin color remember that if you are not happy with how the skin looks you could add more tones for example making the cheeks a bit more red as if she's blushing or adding some sort of like more yellows and blues and greens to make like kind of show how like her veins are anything like that if it is a black character you can add kind of purples and pinks they make the painting pop a lot i have a portrait tutorial with a black skinned character if you are more interested on learning about darker skin tones i'm going to leave it right here as well but basically the trick is bring enough color variation to the skin that it makes it look like it's a real character like a person that is breathing you know but always focus on your light source if you forget about your light source you're going to get really lost and right now i'm finally thinking about textures so i want you to get your textured freckle brushes or like little spots of like skin and i want you to get a lighter skin tone and add the texture brushes around the places where the light hits the skin because if you notice that the pictures whenever the light hits our skin directly at our face our skin kind of shines so when you add textured brushes with like a lighter skin tone it's going to make it look like it's shining just like highlights if you use makeup you're gonna understand what i'm saying and it's really important to do that if you want your skin to look realistic and something else that you can do is to add little freckles so get a darker tone of the skin and start adding freckles you can add them manually as well i think they look really really cool just remember to not over exaggerate it because then it looks way too much and you're going to see some close-ups here which i think i really loved and my last tip is to add noise you basically go to the photoshop settings and you add noise to your painting just on the skin layer to make it look more realistic and that was basically the video guys i really hope it helped you and that you enjoyed it i had so much fun making it for you i'm so sorry if this tutorial was a bit too fast if you have any questions or any doubts feel free to put them on the comments i answer everything you guys were asking for a skin rendering tutorial so i made sure to make one and not only paint the skin but actually show my process inside a full painting and i hope it helps you guys and thank you so much for your support 
Please don't forget to subscribe and leave a like. It helps me so, so much. And I want to hear from you. So please tell me if you like this video in the comments below. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.